61 featherweight title on the line blasting game in brown with james lee as our ref he would not make <laughs> he would not make 45 no. <laughs> <laughs> blast and ramos man two of the top uh featherweights yeah. in, the, in the state for sure ramos got that wicked power i mean he's just so freaking powerful yeah and blast has to be careful because Ooh. those st ramos unloading on blast yeah. the thing with blast though he's he can survive anything. I, yeah, I mean, he's one of the toughest, toughest guys to step inside of a WXC cage. Yeah, I, th I think he could survive like a nuclear direct hit. <laughs> it's just There's unreal. no need for the bomb shelter. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> just something, something in him. Uh, we've seen him in such incredibly rough places. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it just never quits, ever. Yeah, man, blasting game, one of the, uh, you know, genuinely one of the toughest guys to step inside of a WXC cage. Yeah. So resilient. Um his cardio is, uh, you know, phenomenal. Yeah. I don't, I don't think the guy gets tired. No, absolutely. And I, I just have this feeling that when they train at the gym, he's the last guy to ask for a ride. He's gonna be there. Somebody can have one more. Somebody yeah, exactly. Have one more. That's exactly. him. That's gotta be him. And I, and I think what's gonna be telling us as this fight goes deeper and deeper, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. how will the cardio of Ramos Brown hold up? Well, especially you're looking at a guy who's short, stocky, a bunch of muscle. And that uses a lot of energy. And, uh, I mean, we've seen this on the high level. We've seen this, you know, in the amateur ranks. It, it usually holds the true that the guys who look like this, they, they, they run out of gas. I mean, you look at Hector Lombard. He is way scarier in the first round than he's in the second, and he's way less in the third. I mean, it's just it's The just body type, yeah. yeah. And then you got these wiry guys at blasting game that can fight for forever. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I, I wonder how many rounds he could go. I, I don't know even, have we seen him tired? I genuinely don't remember blasting game ever getting tired. Like, that's not hyperbole. Like, I don't really recall. Yeah. I mean, obviously, 
he get a little tired, but yeah. He'll go back, but after coming out of his break, he does not look, look tired. Look refreshed. He looks the same way that he did at the in the first round. Yeah. And he's done well for himself here. He weathered that early storm, and, and now he's... You know, Ramos right now, it's just, this is tough because he's going to have to... Uh, he's going to have to deal with this. And Blast doesn't take a break either, so he's going to be relentless. Yep. And he's going to pressure and pressure and pressure. And it'll be interesting. Like we said, you know, how is Ramos going to be able to, ha to handle this pressure? Yeah, just think about the lactic acid building right now from hanging on. And here we go again, back to back. And it's... An it's nice to see that, you know, Blasting Game has really developed himself and yeah. some nice wrestling over the course yeah, of the years, you know. Next step for him would be Submission Game because that's the one thing I got to say. I don't really seem finish fights. No, but he does have excellent submission defense. Yeah. He's just, oh, for sure. He's just a very creative and scrappy guy, so extremely hard to put away. Yeah, yeah. But it'd be nice to see if he starts I'm adding saying some. If he, if yeah, he, yeah, if he absolutely. If he started being able to finish people, because now you have to... A, you have to match his intensity, you have to match his pace, and then the fact that he can finish you now will bring it ever, yeah, all to a whole yeah. new level. And that's going to come. It's just going to matter of, yeah. it's just a matter of time, but you know, you're absolutely correct. You got two ring girls for the price of one today. That's not a bad thing, right? No, definitely not. And as you mentioned, you know, Ramos, he came out guns a blazing in that first round. But, you know, after Blast weathered the storm, yeah. it was really a blasting game round. Yeah, it was for sure. I mean, the, you know, the first 30 seconds, if we were scoring that only, Ramos would have won that round, but there's another two and a half minutes. And that's the, that's the beauty of MMA. But you see the difference in breathing already. We're one round in. And, and Ramos is going to have to be able to use that explosive power, but at the same time try to maintain the distance that doesn't allow Blasting him to smother him. Because that's exactly what Blast is going to come out in the second round and attempt to do. Yep. Yeah, and he is a little bit of ice. A high, yeah. Smart. Smart yeah, corner. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, I spilled. Uh, it was Give my totally fighter a little more of a breather. <clears throat> yeah. You know, it's one of them funny things. I've seen Ben Lagman take points for stuff like this. And I have as well. And, and I really think we got to get better at that as... As uh, as corner men, is, and to really make sure that that we understand we're representing our fighter, and, and, and if you do that kind of stuff, it can cost him. No, absolutely. Round two underway. Ramos Brown in the red trunks. Antoine blasting him in the black trunks. Wow, nice leg kick. And Blast throws the, the leg kicks and a lot of his punches from from weird, awkward angles, and he's a Standing up, he's so difficult to predict. Yeah. You really don't. He doesn't do things that you would expect at times. Yeah. And that definitely works to his advantage. Nice yeah, time takedown. Very, That's that wrestling, man. Yeah. I mean, he he's definitely come a long way. I mean, looking at, at him as a fighter, I mean, I understand that he's going pro. I mean, what else does he have to prove? I mean, no, he's fought the who's who. More than that. Yeah, it's crazy. I think the only fight that we've really seen him... Not look good was when he fought uh, Roy. Uh, yeah. Roy when he fought Roy Ramos. Yeah, Roy Ramos. That was that was a really rough fight. I mean, he, even the first round he looked all right, but man and man. But then again, that's a whole different level of, of, of opponent. Yeah. Too, right? You know, Ramos should have been pro probably years ago. <laughs> this is another bad spot. Ramos Brown's gonna have to get out of this mess, and and uh, you, you can't afford to sit here and take this. Just trouble. I can see Blast dig with a couple more of those knees. Yeah. Ramos desperately trying to peel the hands and yeah. square back up so he can unleash. Ooh. Whoa, nice uh, spin. Yeah, spin missed. I, I don't know, like an hair, elbow. I don't know what that hair does, but like, man, oh man, it, it, <laughs> he just seems to dodge all kinds of stuff. Yeah, he's tough to hit. Yeah, he really is. And he has that. Off, do you remember Keith Jardine? Yeah, he yeah. Was, he, he was just like awkward as Like awkward. jerky, yeah, yeah jerky but it works. It works. Like, yeah. It works I mean, for them. Absolutely. Uh, he has a little bit of that too, uh, Blast. I mean, the, the guy's just not predictable and, and relentless. A little bit of Clay Guida. Got hair yeah, all over yeah. The place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it pushes the pace like Clay. And he's in yeah, a great spot yeah. here. Ramos yeah. uh, Ramos going to have to move because Blast uh, is going to start raining down some shots from the mount here. Yeah, definitely. 
this is major trouble. This is full mountain. He's landing some big shots. And even if they don't finish the fight, it's another round in the books, and as this gets deeper and deeper. Yeah. And that knockout power gets less yeah, and less. Yep. You know what I mean? Whoa, oh, got nice a little high, got a little high in yep. there. Brown took advantage of it. Nice capitalization. No. Not a lot of Let's time left, though. Yeah. That's another thing that a, a crafty veteran understands is mm -hmm. you can take a risk later in the rounds because mm -hmm. if you do lose a position like uh, Blasting Game just did, mm -hmm. he understood, listen, well, okay, the guy's got 10, 15 seconds mm -hmm. to work in that mm -hmm. position at time. Yeah, yep. So, what do you say, 2 nothing right now for Blast? Yeah, absolutely. So, if you're talking to Ramos Brown right now, you're in his corner. What needs to change in order for this fight to change? Well, he's going to have to figure out a way either A, to stop the takedowns, or maybe get a takedown himself. So, the question is, you know, you can't be banging away and... and and standing in front of, uh, of Blast and then getting careless and getting taken down. So you have to kind of pick your shots, be ready to sprawl, uh, or maybe maybe just go for the takedown himself and end up in a better position because we've never even seen what, what he can do from the top. No, that's an excellent point. I'm, I'm guessing he's going to try to maintain um, his distance a little more and uh, bang in appropriate spots, mm -hmm. but... We know Blast is going to make try to make that as difficult as possible. Blast will throw and then he's in and then so in and out. It's hard to strike, especially you know uh, Ramos going to have to figure out a way to get closer. And there's that. And as soon as he charged in, the timing was perfect there from Blast. And see, this and takedown defense has to be better than that. Yeah, I'm sorry, yep. but like if you have takedown defense, that. On that level, you gotta make you the have guy to work. Have wicked jujitsu. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you're if you're James Gray and and that's your takedown defense, um, I would be totally understanding. But that's not what you are. So like, you gotta figure out a way to sprawl and, and maintain staying on your yeah. feet. He's too so, good of a striker to 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 concede like that. Yeah, such an important part of the fight game is your takedown defense because to an extent it helps you dictate where the fight takes place. Yep. Yeah, and I'll tell you, where the fight takes place, who has the the ability to, to, to decide that is almost always the winner, in a, in a, especially in something that goes wrong. Now. Ramos almost yeah, took Blast yeah. for a ride there. Yeah, and went to the corner and, and kind of missed the takedown because of it. He put it more on his butt than on his back. But this type of pace... This grinding, this yeah. is this is plays in a favor for Antoine. Oh goodness, full mount. You can see that uh, Ramos is starting to uh, fade a little bit here. Yeah. And I'll tell you too, if you're a striker and you get into these exchanges with grappling and and, and takedowns and they're, they're exhausting, man. The gas out of you. I had a, a couple guys that came up and trained the other day, and, and it was funny because we did five rounds of kickboxing, and they were tired at the end of them. And then we did two rounds grappling, and they puked. <laughs> you know, it's one of them things. It's a matter of comfort because oh, it, it works sure. both ways. Because I know oh, guys that oh, grapple, and, and then they go and they box a couple rounds, and they're exhausted. Oh, for sure. For <laughs> but they sure. can grapple forever. Because yep. they know how, it's it's knowing when to appropriately exert your energy, yep. be able to be relaxed. And there are yep. different types of cardio, but it also is a level of the yep. level of comfort you have in each context. Yeah. Maybe it's just not quitting or get back up to his feet again. Yeah, man, he's a gritty guy. He's yeah, he's definitely not gonna. He's definitely not gonna give a give a win away. No. He's gonna make Antoine earn it every single you know every single minute of it. Mm -hmm. A lot of trouble here though. A little bit of a goss hanging out from the glove of Antoine. Takedown after takedown after takedown. Oh, Blasting him relentless with the with the uh, wrestling. Yeah, Ramos just like. Oh. <laughs> you know, that's kind of probably what he's saying. Oh God, that's kind of what you know. Seen it's almost not seen that again. <laughs> kind of seen that the body language. Yeah. A blast going for a leg lock here. Do you, do you know what to do with it? <laughs> <laughs> and Re Re again, I, Ramos I, was like, oh, man. But again, let's understand that Blast did that. I'm pretty sure the reason that he did that is he understood, okay, no 10 seconds yep. left. Uh, yep. uh, let me let me play with my leg locks for a second here. Yep. See what I got here. 
Why not take the Yeah, absolutely. So now we're getting into these championship rounds. This is blasting game territory, and you can see that uh, yeah. Ramos breathing deeply, very tired. Mm -hmm. Gonna have to dig down deep in order to try to pull this thing off because uh, I think on both of our scorecards, he's yes. down um, zero to three. Probably gonna need to stop the fight. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and, and I don't see any other way. <laughs> Kelly Chu just looked over and said, he yeah. is breathing. This is your opportunity right now. You gotta, you gotta go get him. Yeah, I guarantee that uh, Blasting Game is taking note of that. He's going to try to hop on Ramo as soon as this uh, fourth round starts. Yeah, and you know Antoine's got all kinds of guys. Yeah, you know, I don't say this jokingly. Like, I generally think he could probably fight like eight rounds, nine rounds. Like, Yeah, I, I can't wait to see him go pro. Yeah, it's, that's you, true. It'll be see different, interesting this. to see. Uh, people think that the difference between a three minute round and a, and a five minute round is two minutes but it's not it's an eternity no yeah you're absolutely right the difference between a three minute round and a five minute round um is much more than you might think oh it's just another two minutes no, no. oh god nice leg kick yeah and not only that but man oh man that was no resistance on that takedown whatsoever that was rough i wonder how many i wish we had a uh, a tally here but uh, i feel like Blasting game is approaching double digits and takedowns and yeah. starting to really open up with these shots. Some yeah. strong ground and pound there from Blast. Yeah, it looks like he's really feeling the urgency that he can finish this fight. And uh, and he's a smart fighter. He takes the finish when it's there. He doesn't chase it. You know what I mean? No, absolutely. That's intelligent fighting too. Yeah, I think that's one thing that maybe uh, people um, maybe don't give Antoine as much credit for. Is You know, everybody talks about his cardio. He's tough. But he's a very smart fighter, yeah. like you mentioned. And yeah. it's over. Yeah. He just over, that was just an you know, overwhelmed yeah. him. Yeah, I think that's a good point. I mean, you know, yeah, yeah, I don't this, think this Ramos had much left. And he's, not, uh, he's not disputing the stoppage, yeah. so uh, that's kind of a tell in itself. Mm -hmm. But again, man, Antoine Blasting game, fight after fight, improves, improves. And as you mentioned, he's ready to make that jump to the pros, and I'm excited to see him there. I can't wait to see who he's going to fight. Yeah, I mean, think about the potential matchups at you know either featherweight or you know 55 because we've seen him fight at both yeah. but a lot of a lot of potential what could be awesome matchups with uh blast yeah i can't wait to see it that's for sure i think uh august or no april 23rd right is that when we're on i think april 23rd if, if, i believe yes that's the, the next pro show and i think uh there's been a little bit of talks of rumors of blast being in that that would be awesome yeah. i would love to see him go pro at our time that would be phenomenal Let's go to uh, Clifford with the official decision. Let's go, Cliffy.
four-time still champion and going pro.